Okay, welcome to the Job Search Strategies Workshop. I'm excited that you tuned in. My hope is to help you to understand the process of looking for jobs, what that looks like to look for both jobs and internships, and how you go about that strategically so you're not just wandering out there uh, trying to find job search engines and hoping and praying that something turns up. Uh, there really, I believe, is a good strategy for finding jobs and internships. Uh, my hope is that today we can kind of talk through some of that. Uh, so we're going to talk about places to search, things like newspaper ads, company websites, search engines, online and creative searches. We're also going to talk about using headhunters and temp agencies to be able to fulfill your job search needs, as well as relationship-based searches and networking. Uh, I know that some of you are going to freak out when I say networking because you think, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to go and talk to someone and shake hands and go to a networking meeting. Uh, the reality is with the internet today, uh, while those are good ways to do networking, it doesn't have to be done in that manner, and a lot of it's done online. And so I'm going to talk about social media and how do you manage some of that to help yourself uh, find opportunities out there. So basics, newspapers. Pick up a subscription to your local newspaper. Uh, at least if you don't do anything else, at least get the Sunday edition uh, because that usually is the rotation of the next week of, of jobs uh, as they get posted. Uh, here in Siloam, it's really awkward. Uh, we only have a Wednesday paper in Siloam and a Sunday paper in Siloam. Uh, we get the Democrat Gazette a couple of other days of the week, uh, but those are the primary times whenever there's something in Siloam available, it's going to be Monday or sorry, Wednesday or Sunday. Uh, I always try to bring in the newspaper after that point, uh, so on Monday morning or on Thursday morning, uh, if, if we've had some good information or if there are some good jobs in there, I always bring it into the Career Development Center, so you're welcome to check that out for free uh, if you're on campus or near campus. Uh, also, dress for success. Another great way is to actually go out, is, is you find those jobs that are available, to go in person, dress up professionally for that. Uh, to drop off your resume and cover letter to the company in person, make sure it's on resume paper, uh, and asking them uh, to take an opportunity to in in interview you or at least to look at your application materials and then to, to proceed with an interview, um, to ask them about their tire hiring timeline. Those kinds of things are great discussion questions if you go to drop it off in person. Uh, obviously, dress nicely. We had a couple students a few years ago uh, who were digital media students, and uh, they actually... Uh, we're going to look for a job at an industry that tends to be pretty laid back here in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, and so one of them came in and flip flops with the Xavier sung out of his shirt, t-shirt, uh, with shorts on and just kind of waltzed in and dropped off his resume, uh, asked to speak with the hiring manager or the, the person that was in charge, uh, to which he was kindly escorted back out of the building and said, thank you very much. We'll look at your application materials. Uh, the next person that came in was dressed up in a shirt and a tie and was ready to go. Uh, and that person actually was ushered straight in to have an interview and was offered a position. Uh, so again, how you present yourself is extremely important as you begin to do this networking and look, start looking for jobs. Almost every company also has a website that will list vacancies. Uh, they're typically listed as job openings, vacancies, employment opportunities. Sometimes you can look for human resource or human resources page. Uh, on their company or corporate website, and that's a great way to, to look for those openings. Uh, out of all of the search engines and all of the things that are out there, a company website is by far the most accurate and timely for finding those up-to-date uh, opportunities. So one encouragement I would have for you is if you know what company or organization you would like to work for, or if you've got a dream company out there, go and bookmark that page. Uh, a few years ago, we had students who were looking for internships, one in particular, um, with Activision. They wanted to look into video gaming and that industry and were looking for an entry-level internship to get their foot in the door. Uh, and they just kept checking week after week after week to see if the, the internships have been posted. As soon as they were, they were one of the first applicants and as a result, they got an internship out of that. Uh, so again, for some of you, it's gonna be the movie industry. For some of you, uh, corporate America. For some of you, it's gonna be local, small organizations. But the job boards are a great way to be able to find out about those vacancies uh, if you know what organization you wanna work with. Uh, search it regularly, again, I would encourage you, if there's a specific company, you know it's very competitive, I would encourage you to check it daily uh, as, as, as the year goes on. I would start maybe two months before you need a job or an internship uh, and, and start that process. For internships, typically September, October, November are the times when the competitive internships are often offered. 
Uh, and then in uh, January, February, sometimes as late as March, there will be another round. And then there will be another round in uh, late April, early May, uh, maybe even beginning of June for those last opportunities to fill those last opportunities. Uh, for jobs, you typically want to wait a little bit closer to, but if you're going to graduate in December, I would definitely be looking uh, late October and then all the way through November is, is fair game for applying. If you're looking at ministry jobs, it may take six months in a ministry job to find an actual opportunity and to actually go through the entire candidacy process with a religious organization. Um, so again, think about that timeline and keep checking those vacancies regularly, even if it's way in advance of when you need to work. A lot of times also companies will hold the job for the right candidate. Follow the application procedures. If they say put it in a mailbox, uh, drop it at a PO address. Uh, if they say apply online, which almost all of them do now, uh, make sure that you follow those, those instructions. How to search, start very broadly. Uh, think about uh, think think about all the terms that are used, but start your search really broadly. And if you get too many results, then start to narrow it in. Uh, but I would encourage you to think creatively and think broadly, and then begin to focus it in. Too many times, I find students will go for one specific job title or one specific location, like Salem Springs, Arkansas, when there are a lot of jobs that are in Gentry or Gravit or just over the border in West Salem. Um, then they miss all of those opportunities because their search is too narrow. Also, think of alternative names for the job. Uh, something like a web designer can also be called webmaster, website specialist, web designer, internet specialist, IT support, graphic designer, inner user graphic interface uh, tester. Uh, again, there are lots of opportunities out there, uh, but you need to think about all the search terms. And, Someone could mean the, for the exact same job all those different titles, but they'll list it differently on their website and on job search boards. So pay attention to, to some of the trends that are out there. Um, again, also think about the city and states that you're near in that, that search location. Uh, it could be Kansas City, Missouri, or Kansas City, Kansas. It could be uh, North, uh, North Kansas uh, in Hills, Hillsboro, or Hillsdale, Hillsboro area. Again, I think about those surrounding areas. When you think about Dallas, Texas, don't just put in Dallas, but think about all the surrounding suburbs around Dallas that you also need to take into consideration. I'm going to take you to the Career Development website quickly and give you a quick tour. Uh, this is a great, great, great resource for you to be able to look um, at jobs and opportunities uh, within uh, the JBU community as well as Northwest Arkansas. Um, we actually have a lot of uh, different connections down in uh, Dallas area. We've got connections in Kansas City. We've got connections in Denver, uh, Tulsa. Uh, all those companies are posting on our JBU job board. Now, this is different than what you see on Blackboard. Uh, if you log into your Blackboard account, uh, there is a general job board that Blackboard hosts, and that is not the JBU job board. To find that, you need to actually come to www.jb.edu forward slash CDC for the Career Development Center. Uh, if you go on EagleNet over on the left-hand side, there's a, a drop-down list and career developments listed there. On the main website, there's a li link for career development in the very bottom of the main jb.edu uh, webpage. So career development is where you need to go. Once you get here, um, these are all resources that are available to you. Some of you, this is the reason you're finding this is because you're tuning in here and you already know where this is at, but in case you don't, uh, I do want to take you through the jobs and internships page, uh, depending on what you're coming in as. So if you're an alum, you need to choose the alumni job board. If you're a student, you need to choose the student job board. If you do choose the student job board, uh, if you're a traditional undergrad student, um, or degree completion, online student, a graduate student, you've already been automatically registered if this is in the middle of the year that you're watching this. If it's in the summer, you may or may not be registered. Um, but this is where we post all of our opportunities at JBU. Anything that comes through my department, anything we're remotely made aware of, we post it here. Uh, so it's under this search opportunities related to my school. You can search by internships, full-time, part-time, different areas of the country, by major. Uh, by job, opportunity, all those things are searchable items. And again, I would encourage you to start very broadly and narrow it down. These are 500 jobs or 500,000 jobs that are posted nationally. Uh, so again, I would encourage you to use this as well. And these are national internships that are posted. 
Uh, please also consider uploading your resume if you have portfolio pieces, whether that's a strategic management project or a paper that you've written or conference you presented at. Maybe it's a portfolio from graphic design or visual arts, digital media. You can put all those things on here. So any of the employers that register with us also have access to all of your information. Uh, so this is a wealth of, of information, a great resource for you to take advantage of. Uh, whenever you post your resume, we will take a look at that at Career Development or through Career Development to, to see if there's any ways that you can improve that. Um, so those are the job boards there, uh, company job boards. If you click on this, it actually takes you to a page and there are a ton of different logos. If you click on any of these logos, it will actually take you to uh, the company's job board. We did the work for you, we've located it, and we've tried to direct you straight to where you can find employment and internship opportunities with that organization. Uh, so please uh, feel free to take advantage of that. Uh, also under the Jobs and Internships tab, uh, there's a NACELINK job board that you're welcome to sign up for. This is Glassdoor. Glassdoor is great for looking for salaries. It's great for looking for jobs, for internships, for reviews about companies. If you're not sure if you want to work for them or not, there's a lot of great information. If you use this access point, it's totally free. You don't have to create an account. However, if you go to glassdoor.com and access it from the public site, you do have to create an account after so many pieces of information or after you gain so much information. Uh, but they wanted to make it free for students, and so this is a free way to get into it. Um, Indeed.com is another really good search engine that I would uh, commit to you. It's a great way to look for uh, nonprofit organizations. It does a really good job looking at different uh, job boards. Um, as well as company websites and organizational websites to pull those jobs. Uh, you also can look at other job searches, and this looks by major. Uh, and if you click on the major, you can select whatever major you happen to have. And within that, it will have some general job searches again at the top. Uh, there are some internship search engines with each one of these. Also, Northwest Arkansas search engines. So if you want to stay local, this is another great resource to look for other uh, search engines that just post things for Northwest Arkansas. And then by major, there are different websites, uh, different professional organization websites and major specific websites uh, that you could look for careers and opportunities. Uh, foreign International, some higher education in this one, legal law enforcement, uh, nonprofit. And then if you're a student with a disability, this is a great place to look for companies who are hiring, uh, knowing that some of you uh, have physical limitations or mental limitations uh, for you to be able to do specific jobs or certain jobs. Uh, this is a great uh, advocate for you in that job search process. Uh, so again, I commend that part of this resource and website to you. Uh, another thing under the other job searches, is that if you go to mission profiles, some of you have been called to go into the mission field. Uh, in here, they, we've alphabetized them, so there's been no priority given to who they are. Uh, but within each of these, it gives a quick description. And again, if you're, you're able to actually click on the link to take you to their hiring page um, or the ways that you can really get into and long-term with those mission agencies and organizations. Um, most of these have been on campus. Most of them are part of our missions fair every year. Um, so I would encourage you, again, if missions is where God has called you to go, uh, to take a look at those mission profiles. Uh, finally, Northwest Arkansas nonprofit companies. Uh, we, some of you have a desire to work for nonprofits. That's great. We've gone and researched as many as we can find in Northwest Arkansas and have listed them here. There's a link to their website as well as address, phone number, contact information. And you're able to also click on a map on this side to actually show you how to get to that nonprofit organization. Uh, so again, you're welcome to check out their websites. You're welcome to go and see if there are opportunities uh, with those nonprofits uh, to be able to, to find employment and internships from that side as well. Uh, finally, career fairs. We are going to have career fairs at different points. Uh, you can obviously take a look at this to find out uh, what career fairs are open and, and those kinds of things as well. Uh, another thing is to, to look at internship requirements. Each of our majors on campus has different internship requirements. Uh, and so within this, it lists out specifically for your major, what are those internship requirements so you can work with an employer to, to discuss those and, and work through uh, some of those uh, aspects of that job uh, search process. 
Uh, networking, we're going to talk about this in a little bit, uh, but LinkedIn is a great resource for networking and in a minute uh, to, to kind of go through that side. So coming back to the presentation, tech agencies and headhunters are great. Uh, we've got a couple here in Siloam and they have your best interest in mind, uh, but they also have a profit interest in mind. Uh, headhunters make their money by placing you in jobs and then if they place you, uh, they get a certain percentage out of your first year salary is how they typically will make their money. Um, the wrong kind of headhunter to go and work with is the one who says, hey, pay me $1,500 and I will find you a job. <laughs> Uh, you want to work for those that will charge the employer to help you find opportunities. Uh, again, there are many here in the local community, and I'd encourage you to check those out if you're having trouble getting into a job yourself. But please try try finding one on your own first, and then kind of using that as your last resort. Relationship-based searches. 85 to 90 percent of all jobs are never publicly listed. Uh, they never show up on a job board. They never show up in a search engine. Uh, because they've never been posted. People find jobs by knowing other people, and people hire who they know. Uh, so your job is to let everyone in your sphere of influence know that you're looking for an opportunity. Um, six degrees of separation. Uh, we all are connected in this planet by six degrees, six people, especially at JBU. When you think about the policy has had and does have, when you think about the international relationships, uh, when you think about uh, even people like a Billy Stevenson, uh, who knows everyone in Northern Ireland, it seems like. Uh, again, there, there are relationship connections that you have just by being a student at JBU. If you're in our online program, think about your faculty members, think about your cohort in the DC program. Uh, again, there are opportunities to work with those folks who you have opportunities to work with, to connect virtually to anyone on this planet. Think creatively also about who you network with. Um, another encouragement I have is to volunteer your time. If you are uh, thinking about working for a nonprofit, 98% of the people hired into actual paid positions have volunteered at that nonprofit before they ever get hired on. Also, it's a great way to make sure that your resume doesn't have gaps in it. Uh, if you get done with JVU and you finish up, you graduate, my encouragement is to go and volunteer for a while at some place just to keep you uh, active, to keep your mind sharp. Uh, to also keep you in connection with other people in terms of networking uh, through those volunteer organizations. But take time and volunteer, give back in that way. Take copies of your resume wherever you go so people can get in contact with you. Uh, some students will actually make business cards. Uh, again, it doesn't have a corporation or a company listed, but it's a way for you to use a contact card to get other people your information. Also, organize your contacts. Don't let them go dead. Uh, if you're constantly working at trying to find a job, uh, keep checking back with those contacts that you have, uh, making sure that you keep up with them, let them know where you're at in the process. If you get a job, uh, especially if it's through one of those contacts, thank them for the job uh, or the interview or anything that they've helped you to, to navigate. Uh, please be overly gracious in that. Uh, even if the Career Development Center helps you with something, come back and let us know. Uh, we often will not hear from our graduates uh, until we go and seek that information out ourselves. Uh, we'd love to hear stories about what you're doing, how God's called you, uh, the amazing things that God is doing in your careers, uh, not just after you get out of JVU, but down the road. We'd love to hear some of those stories, too. Who to network with? Members of professional organizations is a great one. If you're looking at human resources, there's a Society of Human Resource Manager Association meeting that happens once a month in North, Northwest Arkansas, and that's a great place to get plugged in, to meet people, to network with people, and to find a great opportunity. Your friends in Facebook, it's not only for publi publishing uh, photos and updates of what's going on in your life, it's also a great place to look for opportunities. Uh, corporations like Nestle uh, actually have a Facebook presence and want you to like their Facebook page and they'll feed you with jobs as they come available. Also, it's a great way to put out there, hey, I'm looking for this kind of a job in this kind of an industry in this state or location uh, to your network in Facebook and see if they can help you network to find opportunities. Old friends such as high school friends whom you see them frequently are is another good group to check with. Your church, uh, your faith community, uh, use them not only for support and prayer, but also let them know that you're looking and what you're looking for. Is, is be as specific as you can, or it's really hard to help you in those settings as well. 
informational interviewees uh, is another way to, to look at that. So doing an informational interview uh, becomes a network connection with the people in that organization. Your mentors is another way to, to look at that. Faculty member, professors, organizations, again, that you volunteer with. Uh, your internship boss, if you've already had an internship, even if you didn't take a job offered by them or through them, you might also inquire with them about who else they might know uh, that they could connect you with if, if you've got that kind of a relationship with your internship boss. Uh, and finally, LinkedIn is another really good resource uh, for finding opportunities. With LinkedIn, uh, you can sign up, for, I would encourage you highly, to sign up for an account. And when you do, uh, LinkedIn is a great world. I would highly encourage you, no matter what industry you're, you're in, whatever job you're thinking about, uh, to create a profile. You need to have a professional picture. Uh, tune in for another workshop or come by the Career Development Center if you have questions about LinkedIn, and I'd be happy to help you uh, look at how to create a profile, what you should put in that profile. Any of you are welcome to connect with me. I'd make it a policy because it's professional development for you uh, that you're welcome to connect with me and I would be happy to introduce you to any of my connections that would be helpful for you. Uh, again, LinkedIn is a great way to understand who's working for certain companies, how they're connected to JBU, how they're connected to you, um, and using that network as a way to, to find opportunities that are out there. Uh, when you put down your information, make sure that you put keywords in there about the, the career or area that you're looking for. Um, know that I will not refer you if you are in, look, working for an insurance company or a pyramid scheme or if you're looking to profit off of my connections, I will not make those connections for you. However, that being said, if you are a student looking for internships, if you're looking for a job, I'd be more than happy to help you connect uh, through anyone that's in my network. Uh, there also are jobs on here. And so if you click on the Jobs tab for LinkedIn, you can actually search jobs. Um, you can sign up for a company, and if you sign up for their feed, uh, it's sort of like Twitter, if a job posts with that organization or company, it will let you know in your inbox that there is a job with this company, and here are the jobs that are open today, um, those kinds of things. You can also search by location and state, um, and it's a great way for you to, to be able to, to look for opportunities. Um, another thing that you can do um, is underneath the tab, if you so jobs, looking for people is another way. Also looking for companies. Uh, so if you click the company tab, and we're going to type in Walmart just because I know this is a good example of this. Uh, but it, uh, if I spell it all right, that's a helpful piece too. Eventually it'll come here. <laughs> um, and we're going to look at Walmart Retail. And that's going to bring up the Walmart link. Uh, so here's the Walmart homepage. This is a great way to do research for your interview if you get an opportunity with Walmart. It has a hot jobs alert to allow you to know what jobs are out there and, and what's on the horizon. If they've had information about their company and new things that are going on, it lets you know when you go in for the interview to sound like you know something about Walmart, other than the fact that you shop there, maybe. Uh, there's also a career page with each of the companies, and many of them will use this page uh, to, again, either list current openings to give you a flavor of what it looks like to work in the culture of that company, um, and then also an idea of what jobs are actually open currently within within that employer. Uh, if you follow them, again, that's a great way to get blasts if emails about um, here are the jobs that are open with a specific company without you checking back every single day with them. Another thing that's really helpful is under, the, under that home page is it lets you know how you're connected. So if I click see all, this will let me know uh, out of the folks that are in Walmart, I am connected in a first connection with 29 people specifically, second connection with 4,000 people, third connection and everyone else, 18,000. Uh, group members, so they're a member of the JBU alumni group. There's over 500 of those folks uh, who are members of, of that group that also work with Walmart or another group that I'm a part of. Um, it could mean that they work there currently. It could mean that they've worked there in a past uh, life or experience. 
Um, but this is a great way for you to connect, uh, to understand who is at Walmart, who's working maybe in a job that you're interested in, that you could reach out and do an informational interview with and all those kinds of things. Another thing are the groups. And if you click on here and type in John Brown, University alumni uh, in that search box for groups. This is our group for JBU alumni. Uh, this is a group that's got 1,500 members. As long as you have attended JBU and ideally graduated from any of our programs, you have free access to this group. Um, on this discussion board, there's everything from life, faith, work issues, uh, to celebrating some of the accomplishments of some of our alumni. Uh, you're also welcome to go out and, and push information out. If you're looking for a job or an internship, post it out there. And it's amazing how many alumni will surround you and really try to help you out in whatever way that they can. Uh, if they do help you out, make sure you post something saying, hey, thanks for the help. I was able to find a great opportunity. Uh, make sure that you, you're interacting. If, if someone posts back to you and answers your thread or posts something on it, Please be consistent about letting them know and responding back to them. If they offer you help, take them up on that and, and be timely in that. So if you post something on here, all I ask is that you engage, um, that you respond quickly and efficiently with that, um, and that, that you don't just let your, your, uh, your request hang out there. Uh, but again, this is a great resource if you're looking for ways to connect uh, through the alumni group. So those are a couple of really quick uh, pieces about using LinkedIn for your job search process. Uh, keys to networking, it's the art of forming relationships. That's rule number one. It's not about getting a job. Uh, so find common interests. Get to know the person for more than just a job. Invite them out to coffee, play golf, go fishing. Again, make it more than just getting a job. Provide them your contact information and perform informational interviews with those folks that you decide to network with. Final thoughts, this is totally worth the investment and the time. Uh, my encouragement for you is to spend, if you're done with JBU, if you've graduated, spending at least, at least two to three hours a day uh, in this process of looking for jobs, of networking with people, of letting people know that you're out there looking. Uh, the jobs typically will not come and find you, so you need to be proactive. Even if you've got a very employable major uh, from JBU, it's your job to go out and look for those opportunities. Uh, my encouragement is to get up at 8 a.m. So until you find a job, your job is getting a job. Uh, your parents will be thankful for that. Uh, I will be thankful for you being consistent with that. But get up at 8 a.m., uh, keep a regular schedule, get up, take a shower, eat breakfast, and then your job is to go look for a job uh, until you find one. Again, don't wait for the jobs to come find you. Also, put together a support network. Uh, find people to pray for you. Find ways to get involved in the community. Volunteer your time. Uh, but find a group that will surround you, will support you, will pray for you, will help you uh, network and search for opportunities. Uh, too many alums will get depressed after about six months of this process uh, because they've not surrounded themselves with those, those things that will keep them going and energized. Uh, again, my encouragement for you is, is to really engage and find a community that will support you in this process. Uh, finally, if you have questions, if you have aha moments, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you're welcome to email me. Any of my career development assistants would be happy to help you look for jobs uh, or help you, again, revisit some of these concepts so you can look for yourself as well. All we ask is that you, if you do contact us, that you stay in constant communication with us. As you find opportunities, let us know. If you're still looking, let us know. Uh, but we want to be partners with you in this process. Uh, we are not a placement service at JBU, so please do not come to us saying, find me a job. That's not what we do. We're in the business of educating you, of helping you to manage your own career. Uh, if you want someone to find you a job, a placement center is where you need to go for that or a headhunter. Uh, but we will help you in any way that we can to equip you uh, to be successful in this job search process. Thanks for tuning in, and if you have any questions, feel free to let us know.